Hello, my name's Ian, and you're watching Pixels at Dawn. Well, it's uh, all over. All the E3 conferences are done. If you are following us on Twitter, you'll have seen our mad inane ravings as we live tweeted the conference. It's, uh, it was pretty good fun. And now, of course, it's time to reflect, to uh, look back and generally chat rubbish about uh, what we've seen and what we enjoyed and, uh, and what we thought possibly could have been better. But, I mean, uh, I mean, I for one can't wait for more uh, E3 drummers at the, <laughs> at the EA conference next year. Yeah, yeah. The well, less said about that, the better. <laughs> hey, look, so, guys, it's American rugby. What better way to advertise this? Drums. Okay. So, so if it wasn't obvious, Adam's here as well. <laughs> uh, it, it, it's uh, always pretty obvious, isn't it? Your face is obvious. Sadly for the people watching this, it's even more obvious than usual. <laughs> uh, right. So, we're going to have a look at our predictions, and then we're going to have a look at uh, our favourite game to show, and maybe a bit of a chat past that as well. Yeah, there's certainly some gems this year. Oh, yes. Some, uh, some out of left field surprises as well. Yeah, which is good. That's what we expect from E3, so uh, yep. not, to be, uh, not to be sniffed at. So, <laughs> predictions. Ah, uh, uh, dumpster fire. That's, that's what our <laughs> predictions were. You did better than me, but I did. So, uh, so yeah, Wolfenstein, the new one. That, that's definitely one that came up. The, the new Colossus was shown at the Bethesda conference, which was uh, good to see. Definitely. Oh um, yeah. Um, sort of. I, I did enjoy the the two D chameleon after dropping acid. <laughs> that was very weird. Very very weird. <laughs> Um, what else is there? Uh, new Metroid, I'm proud of that one. Uh, not only did they announce Metroid Prime 4, which I said, said might come along, but also a 2D Metroid for the 3DS as well. So I was pretty bang on there. I, was, I didn't expect to be, actually. How are you bang on? You didn't predict the 2D one. Get I the hell out of here. I said it might. they might do a Prime one, they might do a 2D one, um, but being Nintendo they wouldn't do that because that's what we would expect them to do or we would want them to do so ah yes. but we expected them to not do what we expected so <laughs> it's expected yeah well, right. they, they had a decent show this year um yes they did they did um it wasn't very long but it was it was a decent show um they, they did seem to follow the general consensus uh, EA and Ubisoft side of Game stop, game stop, game stop. I don't mean game stop, I mean it's game stop. <laughs> game stop, game stop, game stop. Sponsorship deal, game stop. What? <laughs> uh, yeah, whatever, whatever. Um, what was in your predictions? New Bethesda IP, almost, kind of. Not, not really, the Evil though. Within, really, Bethesda? That, that, yeah. was a, that was a good shifter, was it? Although to be fair, the the sequel they're pushing the trailer to it actually looked pretty good. Yeah, but then I, why didn't they just have that the first time round? What well, the hell? Uh, I mean, it could still be Whoa, a buggy. I've, I've got a safe on my head. <laughs> Watch out, kids. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Now this we've got time, the, sort of man being molested by the intro to Westworld. Yes, and creepy little girls, which is always a uh, a good way to go with uh, and, horror and terrifying uh, old age camera uh, homunculus. Mm, mm, yeah, <laughs> more, more of that, more of that, please. Um, but yeah, other than that, we didn't really get anything else. Um, we we got don't... Skyrim on friggin' everything. Yeah, from including from VR. <laughs> um, but um, there, wasn't, there wasn't really much else. So yeah. Better look next time, I guess. Yeah. Um, or, or maybe the industry should just listen to us more and and, uh, and stop pushing out the rubbish. Yeah. Well, <laughs> there's, there's always like PSX for the uh, Japanese stuff and TGS as well. Yeah. Uh, Gamescom as well. Yeah. I know there's a few few uh, things people are expecting to announce at Gamescom as well. So. So, uh, so well, that's there, coming. There was there was some stuff that was sort of uh, obvious in its absence. Yep. So yep, Red uh, Dead, um, Last of Us no, Two. Yeah, I was I was kind of expecting to see Last of Us Two, assuming they were going to uh, release that maybe this year, start of next year. But does that mean not... is, is that hinted at twenty nineteen? Yeah, it could be way out now. Um, which uh, which is fine by me because it means I don't have to buy a PS Four yet. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes, you do, Ian, because Shadow yeah. of the Colossus. Yeah, maybe. 
<laughs> anyway, let us have a look at our favourite games of show. Um, so just leave it to top three, even though that's actually quite difficult. I that, that really is. And I tried to do it, but um, let's let's run through uh, three to one, and uh, and then we'll do an extended um, honourable mentions at the end. Then, yeah, we? yeah. I mean, <laughs> um, you went first last time, so I'm going first this time. Feel free. Look at me, I am the captain now. <laughs> um, so I think sort of the best one for me. Should we go best and then descending, or how do you want to do yeah. this? Yeah, do it that way around this time. Okay, why not? Um, freaking monster hunter. Mm. Proper glorious 1080p monster hunter, not looking you can like read a PS2. the text. Huh? <laughs> You'll be able to read the text now and everything. I know. I mean, it's great. You can actually uh, have more than one area that is bigger than I don't know somebody's front room. You don't have to try and deal with the uh, 3DS analog sticks anymore. Oh either. Jesus Christ! Those are so bad. I mean, it wasn't too bad playing it on the Wii U. If you did the the sort of the big screen version. Okay, I did. I never got a chance to have a go at that. So. It, it, it was better. No? Yeah, but, um, well... No, it should be good. I mean, I, I like the whole sort of... You can now sneak around the monsters and stuff for a limited amount of time. And apparently there's also a cape that makes you super obvious to the monsters so you can lure them. Okay, okay. Not heard that. Yeah, uh, no, it, it, it looks great. I, I, I like the pitch of it's an open world and, oh, it's got drop-in. Drop I was going to say, car. yeah. They, they're getting rid of that sign of zoned approach that they had in the previous games and making it much more open. Well, it, it's going to screw some people up because you could sort of cheese attacks with the loading screens before. When, so if when, some... you, when you say some people, you mean us, yeah? I mean you. But, <laughs> but oh, yeah, yeah. yeah I'm, I'm looking forward to that. I did like the sort of, oh look, Rathalos is still in it. Yeah. You don't know what yeah. that is. That's the big flappy thing. Um, yeah. Not, not Vulture T-Rex. <laughs> yeah. That thing was yeah. cool. Large nostrils, T Rex. Yeah, <laughs> freaky. But no, I'm looking. I'm really looking forward to that. And cool. uh, PC. So yeah. uh, double thumbs up. Oh yeah. yeah um, good, good work, Capcom. Yeah, cool. So my number one. Um, I I am denied over this, but it has to be Wolfenstein Two. I mean, I'm I'm currently yeah, finishing I'm it off. I'm <laughs> currently finishing off a uh, uh, new order. Um, and I got the old blood to have a go at as well, but that that was a great trailer. That, <laughs> oh, that, so good! And I just got a f no, no. This is a professional well show. <laughs> uh, yes, it looked it it did look fantastic, and uh, just the, the that whole sequence with the sort of um, um, sort of auto shotgun where it's just sort of blasting through the corridor. Oh, with the, the rotating <laughs> barrels and each one just gets hot so it rotates to the next one. That was just yep. gravy. Um, uh... I, I did get the... If you watch the trailer carefully, it seems like, because right at the start of the game he's in the hospital bed, you're rolling around initially in a wheelchair with ah. a gun. <laughs> <laughs> nice. nice. Yeah, that, that game is going to be nuts. But yeah, I'm really looking forward to that. Should be good. So you're number two, Adam... Uh, my number two, um, again, this sort of like a, a, you know, which one do I freaking pick? Um, I think it's going to be uh, a way out. Okay, cool. Uh, that looked really good. That did look really good. I mean, it's obviously nothing like uh, Brothers we did before. <laughs> yeah, it was a bit weird. It's like, right, I made a Brothers uh, A Tale of Two Sons, and here's my new game, a uh, Fonzie escapes from third prison. Person prison break game. It's like okay. I mean, you can kind of see. It. I mean, it's it, it's hev heavy, heavily co-op. So I guess that. Oh god, yeah. Rather than single player co-op. But he's uh, he's really uh, pushing the the couch co-op aspect. Like even yeah. online, it's gonna be split screen. I mean, you know me. I love my co-op games. So. But it's that's, like uh, he did raise a good point because he said I think it was him and his either his friend or his brother they were looking for a co-op game to play and they were all a bit naff. Um, yeah, but this yeah. this is a dedicated cult game, so yeah, that yeah. should be good. I'm I'm hoping it's not too short because it, it could since it's that concentrated. It, yeah, with co -op, it does have that sort of. Um, it could be like here's an here's two indie hours movie done. length uh, game if that makes yeah. sense. We'll see, we'll see. So yeah, yeah, definitely looking forward to that. Um, so, but it, it, it's good that you can sort of be distracting, like a guard, yeah. say on the one screen. Yeah. While you're monitoring player two on the other screen you can instantly advise them like this guy's turning around 
I did love that whole bit where they were like back to back climbing, oh, climbing walls the, as well. Yeah, that and was they were twisting the camera awesome. around at the same yeah, time. Yeah. <laughs> It's going to be good. Yeah, and and good. the uh, the bike chase, it's not one guy drives bike, other guy on back of bike. It's, you've both got a bike. Well, the the, the cunning thing is the fact that you can see what both people are seeing at all times. So it's a it, cunning stunt. You, you get, it's almost like uh, 24, kind of. Uh, um, Where are the visual. bombs, George? Where are the codes? <laughs> yeah, I'm not sure there's going to be any sort of extreme rendition or oh, anything. Oh, cool. if this does well, they need to do sort of that style of split screen game, just 24. <laughs> that would be great. Both of you uh, play as Jack Bauer. <laughs> uh, yeah, that could work. That could work. <laughs> so, uh, my number two... Oh, I can see we're going to have a problem here. My number two is Monster Hunter World. <laughs> <laughs> wow, <laughs> what game is this, Ian? Yeah, yeah. So, uh, so, yeah, equally, I saw that and thought, that looks great. I, d- I didn't play... Which one were we playing? Four, was it? We were playing Monster Hunter 3 Ultimate on the 3DS slash Wii U. Yeah, I didn't get to play that that much. And I found it extremely difficult with the controls and the tiny screen. It's a little little bit better on the XL, but not that much better. But not that much better, so... Because the resolution still isn't that much higher, so... I mean, for a 3DS game, it looks damn good, but but still, it is sort of... This this could look so much better. (laughs) I guess but they yeah. come to realise this. I mean, they, they've said it's going to essentially be... It's not a spin-off game. It's a mainline game. Yeah, yeah. So, um... So, should, yeah, we'll, should get we'll, the, the full gamut of attention from them. We'll, we'll see how that goes, being chased by T-Rexes and stuff. No, no Jurassic Park references at all in there. <laughs> oh, for God's sake. Uh, must, must go faster. Must go faster. We spared no expense <laughs> and bought the collector's edition. Oh, uh, dear. So, what's your third one then, Adam? Third one. Again, it's sort of like, what the hell do you pick? But mm-hmm. um, I think I'm going to go for the sheer shock of, what the hell, Shadow of Colossus. Meh. Yep. Yeah, that looked great. I, so I, I was, was like, oh, this looks like a Team Ico game. What the? Eh? What? <laughs> it's like, oh, have they just, have they just tarted it? No, they've remade it from the They're ground up. Completely remade from the ground up. I know, so, I think it was... Jim Sterling was complaining that it was kind of losing a bit of its aesthetic, sort of washed out aesthetic that the original oh, had. I didn't get that from that By trailer. making it a bit too crisp, but I don't know. I don't know. It looked, they, they've got the sort of, you know, colourless grey fog, Demon's Souls, um, from the original <laughs> game in there. I mean, it looks bleak as hell. Yeah. Um, I mean, my only sort of oh, disappointment with it was they're not going to add any of the cut colossi. Oh, okay. Because they originally should have been a hell of a lot more. Right, um, okay. And if the people have been digging around for years in the game code looking for yeah, yeah. references and you know things in the environment that are left over. But um, who the hell cares? It's Shadow of Colossus. It should look gorgeous. Yeah, I mean, I mean, really? I've, I, I've never, I've never played it, and I was, <laughs> I, I was going to pick it up uh, on PS3, and now I'm thinking, and now well, you're not. I will just wait and get the, the. Uh, Definitive edition, or whatever you want to call it. You see, what they just need to do now is do the same for Ico. Yeah. Oh, I'll yeah. be fine with that. Mm, that'll be fine as well. <laughs> so, my third one is. A way this out. May, this may seem a little familiar. A way out. <laughs> <laughs> really? That was a ju- I had no idea, actually. I, I, I don't know whether this is because we were watching it together, but. <laughs> <laughs> the, the, it did look a great game, I, and I, I liked the passion that the guy had. He wasn't some faceless suit as we he, had to sit through he, previously. So I think it was yep. a, a breath of fresh air. It really was, yeah. He he was really really up for it, really up for it. So that's going to be great. And um, there you go. Our top three games each, which amount to what four? <laughs> but, yes. Uh, <laughs> but you know. So, so uh, what else? Um, was of interest to you in the the conference? Um, Dragon Ball Fighter Z, which base, oh, okay. basically seems to be the the bastard love child of Guilty Gear, Xard, and Dragon Ball. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Um, they've taken the whole. It's a three D model, but because we've cel shaded it to hell, it looks like a sprite, and they're all animated like sprites as well. Yeah, which is basically yeah. Guilty Gear. So that looks good. It looks gorgeous. Apparently, it's really easy to pick up and play. Um, which isn't a bad thing. Somebody was saying in a review I read there was nothing over uh, quarter circle rotations on the stick for moves. Oh, okay. 
Which, I, I don't know if I'd buy that, but it sounds good. That's good that it's got circle rotations for the for the fighting moves, because oh, uh, yeah. that's my preference for uh, for fighting games. As well. Not, uh, fight not old forward, kind of down, diagonal. Yeah, oh, yeah. God. <laughs> Down but, um, I, I did sort of <laughs> remark when we were watching it, every time they bring out a new Dragon Ball Z game, it gets a little bit closer to the uh, the actual anime. Mm-hmm, and mm-hmm. this is damn close now. Yeah, yeah. In fact, it's, it's certainly compared to the original anime, it's actually a lot better because it's not sort of like on a, a old pal, um, sort of slightly blurry anime whoa, vision. Whoa there, son. <laughs> you go watch the... the uh, the HD remasters and you come back to yeah, yeah, yeah. The, and certainly the newer editions are, uh, are a lot prettier as well. We don't talk about Dragon Ball Super. <laughs> um, so, um, something that piqued my interest as well, um, Anthem. Um, not, the trivi- not the Trivium song where they completely changed direction. No, the, uh, the new Bioware IP, which... Looks a lot like uh, Attack on Destiny. Titanfall. <laughs> yeah, Attack on Titanfall, yeah, and a bit of Destiny in there to the point where I'm thinking, am I actually that bothered about Destiny two now, or would I rather play Anthem? I don't, well, I don't know. What, t- to be what, honest, having played Destiny, I will need to see some of Anthem before I can make a decision because it might just be the same old schlock. Yeah, and we've not seen a lot of it either. So, but the, no, the, the whole, no, what we whole... did get to see Ian was oh boy, fake uh, game chat. Uh, yeah. Wow, yeah. I could raid this later <laughs> with Kim and get some XP. Get, oh, get lost. Oh wow, I've got a Legend of Kara or whatever. This it's called. totes lol. <laughs> but yeah, the uh, the sort of mech wing suit kind of uh, section. It's a javelin, Ian. Maybe look uh, make, Yeah, I was kind of expecting it to be like a javelin out of cod or something. No, the suit's called a javelin, you, you muffin. <laughs> Gets up, fired up in the air and then crashed down to earth. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it does look good, but again, I'll have to see some of it. Yeah, yeah. Uh, anything else? Uh, let me see in my huge Santa's list of stuff here. <laughs> um, Crackdown 3 looked pretty good. Yeah, yeah. Um, Terry Crews edition. Well, that was someone pointed out to, to me. It's um, They were going on about the sort of city destruction and stuff last year. Was it last year? Yeah, oh, Might this not. was that they were going to use their weird like, sort of bank of supercomputers to yeah. process for you in the background, wasn't it? They've dropped all mention of that. There was none of that, no mention. And uh, I think I was actually watching something this afternoon where Angry Joe was saying, oh yeah, they fired a load of missiles into an overpass as well and nothing happened. Well, the, <laughs> so, they, they've just quietly swept that under the carpet. I think they? they have, yeah. Um, which is a bit of a shame because I was kind of looking forward to sort of playing dominoes with skyscrapers. So. What, playing dominoes paid 20 quid for a subpar pizza? <laughs> yes, yes. Ah, <laughs> uh, dear. You've been eating pizza this evening. <laughs> yeah, it wasn't dominoes. Uh, you are cheap. <laughs> oh, yeah. Um, um, let me see, what else? Battletech? That looked Battletech. Good. Battletech I like the look of, actually. I, I, I do quite fancy a, um, a turn-based mech game, which is based on the old... Uh, board game, because I, I quite liked the, the sort of real-time MechWarrior games, but I wasn't very good at them. <laughs> I, I couldn't uh, couldn't quite get my head around them, and I feel like a turn-based version would actually work a lot better. Uh, I hope they put in some sort of red plastic triangles for the mechs that have fallen and can't get up. <laughs> yeah, that'd be nice. That'd be nice. You have to build your own... Uh, your own um, I don't know, what do they call them? The sort of landscapes that you do, like, uh, tabletop games on. Uh, a tabletop. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I know what you mean. What? Put a load of books down and throw a sheet over it. That kind of thing. Well, this is a weird green felt stuff and all that kind of stuff. Oh yeah. Okay. But yeah, that look that look pretty good. I don't know. Basically, what you're gonna have to do Ian, is Google it and then put the word in big letters on the screen. <laughs> like just here, here. Yeah. yeah. Cool. Okay, take it away. <laughs> uh, uh, I, I'm. I'm sure that it, I probably won't look it up. <laughs> oh, you suck. Um, Metro Exodus, that looks uh, pretty yes. good. Yes, um, so I read a report on that, that it's not going to be open world. Oh, okay. But it looks there's, so There's going to be world. some linear sections and some bits where you can do a bit of what you want, but it's not going to be true open world. Uh, okay. Well, that's, that's still a good nice. thing. It still looks nice. That's probably a good thing, because the, the, the 
previous games kind of relied on that kind well, of. Well, they're heavily linear. narrative driven, aren't they? Yeah, yeah. They are definitely trying to tell a specific story. Yeah, yeah. And if you're wandering off, going to collect, I don't know, seven mutant bear asses for some guy, it's going to screw the story up. Yeah, yeah. Um, there was the sequel to Ori in the Blind Forest. Ori in the Burnt Forest, as I called it on uh, Twitter. Ori <laughs> but, and uh, the Bird Forest. Or, Ori and the Will of the Wisps is what it's actually called. And Oh, the, you see what they did there? Uh, 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 the first game's uh, a bit of a classic. and uh, I've not played it. It seems like this one is going to uh, follow through on it as well. Probably um, won't play this one straight away. Well, probably not. Probably not, but, but Steam sales will be there for you for the rest of your life, so... <laughs> <laughs> ah, good old gaming. Yeah, humble bundle, all that kind of stuff. Oh yeah. <laughs> uh, um, what else was there? There was the Skull and Bones that Ubisoft showed. There's sort of another pirate game. Oh but, yeah, pirate game and not a good looking pirate game. I get the impression that that one's going to be more of a sort of multiplayer shooter. S R S B S N S. Pirate game. It's serious business, but internet. <laughs> Uh, it'll probably end up just being uh, um, pirates for honour and uh, disappear after a week <laughs> or something like that That's but, um, I mean it's sort of like if you'd bought Sea of Thieves though why the hell would you buy that well yeah well, I, don't, I don't know I think Sea of Thieves is going to be more of an explorey open worldy kind of thing a bit more along the lines of, sort of like Sid Meier's Pirates or something like that whereas I think Skull and Bones is going to be more of a kind of Almost an arena shooter, but in obviously a, a patch of sea. Oh, um, I don't know. We'll have to find out. I don't really know. No, there seem to be ship combat in Sea of Thieves. Oh no, you, you get that as well. But you you kind of going around and you're digging up treasure and and then going off and selling it. And yeah, I know. To, but I'm, I'm just saying. I think that would be more appealing than you're just it, on this ship. Quite possibly. Yeah, that's. What, I'd need to see more of it. So, uh, what else is on the list? Um, a couple of things from uh, from Nintendo with the uh, Mario and Rabbids XCOM kin- Kingdom Battle oh, thing. Oh yeah, Mario XCOM. Which uh, could be actually quite interesting. That could, um, be, that could be quite good. It, and, and it seems Superman. like it would be good for portal stuff. Yeah, yeah. And uh, Super Mario Odyssey as well. Yeah, um, yeah. That looks pretty good. Looks like they're going back to the sort of N64 kind of days for something a bit more in the lines of... Uh, of um, Mario 64 or, or uh, on the GameCube uh, Sunshine as well. It's yeah, a bit yeah. more in those. And uh, those are people's favourite Mario games after all. So makes and, sense uh, to do. P- possession against the will of uh, who you're possessing. <laughs> it's a little dark, isn't it? Oh yeah. It's like oh, I'll just possess this guy in a suit on the streets. Like okay, are we going a bit Messiah here? <laughs> oh God. <laughs> very very weird. It's that kind uh, of system. Uh, Spider Man. Spider-Man looked good. I know people were saying, oh no, QTEs and all this kind of stuff. It's like, if yeah, it... but only in the kind of sense of like God of War or something like that. And they're massively advertised as well. It's not just like they suddenly appear and screen you over. It's like a, a huge yeah. circle decreases. It's like you know exactly when to press it. I did I did see people, um, uh, someone, someone put it alongside sequences from Arkham Asylum and okay. the Batman games. And a lot of the animations were actually very similar. Um, <laughs> okay. But that's fine because it's kind of you kind of look at it with Batman and you think actually that makes more sense with Spider Man because in Batman it's like I'm having to pull people towards me using this bat gadget that I've got that can do it. Whereas Spider Man it's kind of like yes this makes sense webs and stuff. Yeah, but so. Batman's always had a grappling hook. Yeah, I know, I know, but it it, it definitely looks more sensible in Spider Man game, I think. Yeah, I was Let's reading see. a thing where apparently you're not going to be able to kill anyone. Okay. Well, that makes sense as well. That makes sense as well. Let's I see mean, what happens certainly... when you throw them off the top of a building. I was watching that in the trailer. Well, you you you, you saw at one point where he threw, went to throw a guy off the side. And yeah, then he just webs him. Webs him and slams him on the ground in the middle. I mean, breaks every bone in his body, but at least he's alive. <laughs> this is true. <laughs> um, what else was there? Dad of uh, War. Yeah, Dad of War. Um, looks all right. I don't really know what to make of that, if I'm quite honest. Um, I lot, did notice. Seems a lot I, more story and character heavy than the the previous games. I was sitting which there, was, um, kill everything. I was, I was sitting there listening, going, 
is that Teal'c from Stargate SG-1? And lo and behold, it is Christopher Judge playing uh, Kratos. So It always has been, I think. Um, I don't think it has. I went and looked it up and uh, oh, really? it was somebody else. I don't know who it was. So, uh, so yeah, it's actually a uh, new voice actor, I think. Uh, I'm happy to be proved wrong. People want to post in the comments, just uh, let us know. Um, but yeah, yeah. Um, Doom sort of VFL? It's kind of like interesting, but I can't I can't get too excited about that if I'm honest. Because so. we don't have we don't have a VR headset. Well, that's part of the problem. But I don't know. It's, HTC it's kind of, hook us up. I, I'm more interested to see new VR games, not just here's an, here's a game that we had before. Well, it's not slightly strictly VR. the same game, is it? Yeah, I mean you got the same with Skyrim VR as well, which uh, I can see being you know interesting to climb to the top of uh, mountains and stuff in Skyrim that you've been to before and get that feeling but I still want to see new VR games um, and also you've got um, Let's Go Fishing Final Fantasy as well oh yeah <laughs> that was a bit bizarre like what okay um, yeah I was expecting Sony to pull something more out of the bag in terms of the PSVR but I guess they're not there yet well they Mm, who knows? They, there was some indication they'd held some things back for PSX. I don't know how true yeah, that is. It's possible. When, when is that? Um, oh, expect me to know these things. I'm not professional. Not really. <laughs> Put it on the screen. Uh, I guess. I guess they might not have announced it yet. Even. I. Um, it's probably around the same time each year. Not much else left on my list now. Um, obviously, they showed more Shadow of War, but we've seen that already, and we already know that looks amazing. Cod of Duty, uh, the old times. Yeah, um, yeah, uh, I'm. I quite like the look of that, but I'll need to see more of it. Some actual gameplay. I'm. I'm not really interested in the multiplayer. It's just the uh, single player. I'm interested in that. You don't cause... like a, a kill streak dropping like a minigun or something. Not really. <laughs> um, Age of Empires sort of remastered definitive edition is in, of interest to me because I like Age of Empires. 4K? Why? Why is it 4K, 4K Age of Empires. Look, you can zoom out and now all your villages are three pixels. Oh, for, uh, <laughs> for a joke during the Microsoft conference I, I had a can of Pepsi and I decided to take a sip every time they said 4K. Good God, it didn't <laughs> last long. Oh, uh, God. Yeah. Um, and also Total Warhammer 2 with like dinosaurs oh, riding Man's, dinosaurs. Yeah. <laughs> dinosaurs riding dinosaurs with space Aztec lasers. space lasers, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Suits me just fine. Uh, and that... No, 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 no. But wait, there's but more. But wait? But, but, what? PUBG, PUBG. Mantling. Oh, that's true, yes. More PUBG stuff. Um, Always yeah, good. I, I, I believe, as of yesterday, 98 hours play. <laughs> <laughs> That's a lot of PUBG. <laughs> it's it's a good game. It's a good game. And you'd think I've got better at it. Not in the slightest. No. <laughs> no. It's, it's a damn good game. I mean, the, the fact is, you know, I, I haven't played a match really that's similar to any other matches. No, no. And um, now we're getting more of it. We're getting more weather, uh, yeah. times of day, new maps, and there's that yeah. weird zombies mode. Yeah, that's true. That's true. So, uh, so that's going to be cool. So, um, as we are um, bound to ask for uh, an E3 conference, we have to say, who won E3? So, oh, Adam, God. who won E3? Um, I think on balance, stuff that was shown and stuff I enjoyed, I think Sony, probably, for me. I would agree with that. I would also say Sony. Sony's was, conference so, had some great stuff. There's a lot of oh, people on the internet going, oh, it was Ubisoft. How? I don't understand. I don't understand. Beyond Good and Evil 2, great. Everything else? Eh. Nah? I mean, <laughs> Far Cry nah. 5 were pretty good, but it wasn't like, whoa. Mainly because it had already been announced. Yeah. I'm, I've, I've not really played a Far Cry game since the first one. I just can't get excited for them. Uh, it's just more towers and stuff. Climb it? the towers. <laughs> Flip the thing at the top of the tower that shows you where the other towers are. Go yeah. climb a tower. No, thanks. <laughs> if you want to play a good um, Far Cry game, go play Far Cry 2. Well, Microsoft had a pretty good conference as well, and, and Nintendo as well, to be honest. Um, well, yeah, because they didn't do what EA and bloody Ubisoft did, which was talk for four hours between game reveals. <laughs> yeah. Wait, no one cares. Show us the shiny stuff. Show us the games. Yeah, it was all good. 
So there you go. That was E3 2017. Damn uh, you, you, Capcom. You didn't announce Devil May Cry 5. <laughs> and another year passes. <laughs> oh, I, I'll, I'll get you, my pretties. <laughs> And uh, But yeah, so if you've got any comments on what we've been talking about, drop them below the video. Uh, tell us how terribly, terribly wrong we are. Uh, we'd be quite happy to hear. Um, obviously, <coughs> too much talking. <coughs> um, Don't choke us. Basically, if you say we're wrong, assume the response is no you. <laughs> no, In no caps. you. <laughs> so, uh, obviously, drop us a like and subscribe if you want to see more of this kind of stuff. We're going to try and do a bit more... Uh, vloggy kind of stuff I think no, going no one's going to want to see more probably that's the case and hopefully it hasn't got too dark in here at this point for you to actually see me there yeah, we'll see I'll put the night vision on or something um, Jesus. but yeah so that's it um, all done for another year so let us know what you think and uh, we'll see you next time bye 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 bye